Hey, what's going on everybody? It is bright and early, and if you're not up and early and getting after it, trying to improve your careers, I highly suggest that you start doing it. This is some of the most productive time of your day. Now, I'm not gonna go on any more about that. What I'm gonna go on about is over the wire, bandit level zero and level one, and we're here for level one today. Now, before we get into the video too much further, if you don't know me, my name is Chris Ray. I'm with InfoSec for Humans, and I'm gonna help you level up your cybersecurity career. Now, how do I do that? I'm making videos on all sorts of things. Um, uh, Fortinet NSC4 exams, over the wire, as you can see here, how to take these certifications, all sorts of many, uh, all sorts of different things. If any of that sounds familiar to you, consider subscribing below. Give this video a thumbs up if you want more like this, and let me know in the comments of what you think of this video. So, when I started making the over the wire series, I started at bandit level zero, which is the foundational level knowledge, which I think is fantastic, but I did skip over some steps. I didn't explain to you why this is important to learn. Uh, and there's two main reasons. The main thing to me that jumps out is learning the command line is kind of a universal skill. Even though we're using Linux to learn the command line, the skills that you learn here will translate into Windows. It'll translate into a networking career. It'll translate into all sorts of different networking vendors. Juniper, Cisco, F5, Fortinet, all of those use very similar syntax or very similar ideas. So if you can, if you can learn your uh, Linux command line skill set here, you are then, you've raised your skill level on all these different technologies that much higher. The other thing is Linux is a very popular operating system, maybe the most popular. Um, as you get further into tech, you will start working with appliances and custom build um, apparatus and all these different things, which 99% of the time, they are just built on Linux and they're maybe a little abstracted, but LS, the list command and, and cat, those, those Linux commands will continue to work on these abstracted appliances because underneath the hood, they're just Linux. So now that I've level set and explained why we're doing this and hopefully it makes sense to you, let's get into bandit level one. All right, so uh, yesterday, two days ago, whenever that was, I made that video, we started at Bandit Level, Bandit level Zero, which explains to you how to connect to a uh, Linux machine using the se secure shell protocol over the internet. Uh, if you wanna see info about that, go back. Uh, I go into a ton of detail, probably more than you need, but I always wanna be safe. So we're gonna start off at Bandit, Bandit Level One. Let's read the intro here real quick. It says, the password for the next, next level is stored in a file called readme, located in the home directory. Use this password to log into Bandit 1 using SSH. Whenever you find a password for a level, use SSH on port 2220 to log into that level and continue the game. Commands you may find helpful to solve this level, ls, cd, cat, file, du, find. All right, so uh, we already know that we're gonna SSH, username bandit0 at and then I always slaughter the URLs or the host name. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this out. So we can just keep on rolling. And then I know I need to specify a unique port, 2220. And then it's going to ask me for a password. Bandit zero. Cool. There we go. It's loading in. Uh, and what is useful here, and I'm going to point this out, is if you haven't spent much time in Linux, you won't know this. When you log in, before you issue any commands, you're placed into a directory. You're placed into a specific spot on that file system. That specific spot is called your home directory. The reason that's important is, if we go back over here, level zero, level zero to one, it tells you the file is readme and it's located in your home directory. And you may be saying, well, where's my home directory? You're already in your home directory and you can type PWD, print working directory, and it'll list out the literal file path to where you're at. So you can see home slash bandit zero. This is your home directory. So if we list, if we list out the contents of this directory using ls, just type ls space, you can see there's something there called readme. And the first thing you may notice if you're not familiar with Linux is there's no file extension. How do you know what readme is? Well, you can use, I think you can use type. Or am I thinking of a Windows command? Yeah, it looks like I'm thinking of a Windows command. You can use a file and then readme like that, and it'll tell you readme is an ASCII 2 text file. All right, so we know ASCII 2 is, is a text format, it's a symbol, it's a bunch of symbols that we, we use to read things. We know ASCII 2 is a text file. So then, uh, what do we use to read a text file? There's many things in Linux, probably the most common is cat, or short for concatenate. And if we do a man cat, you can see here, name, cat, 
concatenate files and print to the standard output. What's the standard output? Standard output is your command line, what you see here. So if we want to read me, if we want to open read me, which we're not really opening it, we're just saying Linux operating system, get what's inside of read me, dump it on my command line, dump it on the standard output. We would do cat read me. And there you go. We have our password for the next level. I'm going to copy that out, put it over here. I'm going to call it bandit one. So sweet. Awesome. If that's what you came here for is to figure out how to use bandit one, this part of the video is done for you. I hope you want more than that though, because really we're, we're not here to beat the war games. We're here to learn how to use this and apply it to different parts of our, our tech career. The different parts of your tech career could be, um, okay, how do I do something similar to that in windows? Because maybe you're a desktop technician working in a windows environment. Maybe you're a windows sysadmin. You're looking for different ways of doing this. You've learned how to do it on Linux. Let's, let's take a look and see how you can do that in uh, using Windows CMD. So uh, if, if you say, I know there's a file in temp here, and I want to list out that file. I want to find what it is. If we do list, it's going to tell you list ls doesn't exist in Windows. You need something else. You need what's called the dir command or directory, dir. Using directory, dir, we can now see, okay, we have example.txt. So then let's cat that out. Well, it's going to tell you cat is not a program. Windows has no idea what that is, at least not in CMD. So what can you use to, to dump the contents of a file on Windows to your standard output? You can use the type command, type example.txt, and you can see it now dumps out. This is you know something I put together. It tells you this is what it looks like when you use the, the type or the, the get content. Get content is PowerShell commandlet. We'll cover that in a second. But I wanted to show you this here. Uh, as sort of a translation from what you just learned into a different language or Windows. So let's move over to the PowerShell here. Same directory, same machine. So we know there's a, there's a file here called example.txt. Now the neat thing about PowerShell is, and I have, I have some friends that are very deep into PowerShell. They're absolute professionals with it. They could go through the whole history and tell you why it is. I don't know what it is. So um, you're just going to have to you know, follow along with me here. If, if you want to know why it is, find somebody who's an expert. They could tell you why it is. But the thing I'm getting at here is uh, with PowerShell, you have the ability to ls. You can list out directories. You also have the ability to cat a file. Now, the kind of neat thing in my head is, I, I think this is cool, is cat is just a shortcut. It's an alias for the get content commandlet. So if we do get content on the same file, it's the ex exact same output. So there you go. Um, I hope that was useful. Bandit level one, you know, it's, it's, it's still basic. It's pretty fundamental stuff, but I'm trying to find ways to translate this into different languages, different operating systems, or different uses in your day-to-day -day tech career, uh, and I hope this was helpful. So there you have it, guys. Uh, another video, Over the Wire, Bandit level one. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you thought of this. Maybe there's something that's irritating you and driving you crazy. Or maybe you're finding this very helpful and you want me to speed up the development of, these, of this video series. Either way, let me know in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't like it, and consider subscribing to my channel. Again, my name is Chris Ray, and I'm with InfoSec for Humans, where I help you level up your cybersecurity career.